Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi, and today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Something I thought would be cool to talk about, and something you guys might really like. So, with the upcoming cosmetics patch that is coming soon, I thought it would be cool to speculate about some of the possible skins that could be added for heroes and villains that are already in the game. With this video, I am going to start off with skins for the villains, and keep in mind some characters will be easier to come up with multiple skins for than others, and some may only have a few possible possibly even one depending on what they've worn before. And I may even throw in a funny one here or there that may enrage some people in the community, but that's okay, it's all still Star Wars. So without dragging this intro out too much, let's get into the possible skins or looks for every villain we have in the game so far. And if you think I've missed any skins, be sure to comment them down below. Now, first off, let's start with an easy one, Darth Maul. Darth Maul has been seen in The Phantom Menace, The Clone Wars, and Star Wars Rebels, during which he wore several different outfits. The first one is pretty simple, and it's just hooded Darth Maul. This look can easily be identified from the scene in Episode 1, where he takes on Qui-Gon Jinn in the sand on Tatooine. Now this is pretty basic, but something I think could be cool to alter it from the skin we have now, is when this skin is equipped, Darth Maul only has one end of his lightsaber ignited, like he did in that battle with Qui-Gon. I don't know how this would work with his lightsaber throw and spin attack, but it's really a cool option to think about. The second skin I think could be really awesome for Darth Maul, and is one that I would love to see added to the game, is the Mechanical Legs Maul. Now, we all know after Obi-Wan cut Maul in half, in Episode 1 he managed to survive, and he comes back in the Clone Wars and gets these Mechanical Legs. Now this skin would be so awesome, but I feel like it would definitely slow down his playstyle, so it might not be the best skin functionality wise. Nonetheless, it's still a cool option to think about. Now I do have a third skin for Maul and I really wanted to see this in the game. It is his comic book appearance, where he doesn't have the robe on at all. This would be really cool to see him running around the battlefield with the red skin exposed, black body markings or tattoos or whatever you want to call them, but it would really, really be cool to see. And I feel like if they could do Leia's comic book skin, then they should definitely be able to do Darth Maul's comic book skin. And besides, it's going to add some color to the game because there isn't a lot of red in the game at the moment. Moving on to our next hero. I'm going to be talking about skins for Darth Vader. Now, I know the most requested skin in the game is a pink Vader, and as funny as it is, and it would be to see, that running around on the Death Star, I'm not sure how plausible it is. I mean, there's always a possibility I'm not writing it off, but at this point, I don't think that's on the top of their list. But thankfully, there are some other options for Vader. I think the best option for him could possibly be the Battle Damaged Vader. Obviously, this goes without saying, it's the most distinguished change to a Vader appearance you can make that we know from the movies. Also, I believe his appearance in Rogue One was slightly different as well. With the coloration of his eyes, I think they were slightly more red and there were a few other small changes like his armor was less thick, but really nothing that was hugely noticeable. Moving on to our next villain, it is Bosk. And this is kind of a tricky one because Bosk hasn't really had too much screen time at all. Now he appeared briefly in the original trilogy, which is the outfit we have in the game currently. And then he had a small stint during the Clone Wars TV show, which for those of you wondering is why he's available at 6,000 battle points on Clone Wars era maps, but I'm sure most of you already knew that. The only other options I could think of for Bosk is possibly having him in the natural colored outfits that his family wore in the Clone Wars when they were hunting Ahsoka. I know it isn't much, but it's definitely something different that could mix it up in the game and personally would be a skin that I would rather have attached than the current jumpsuit that he's wearing. Just because I think it stands out a little bit too much and if you're trying to be stealthy in the woods on Endor during the day, then an outfit like this could definitely help you blend in. Bosk also briefly wore one of those orange prisoner jumpsuits, so maybe if you wanted some color variety, they could throw that in there too, and have him running around with pink Vader and lighting up the map. Next up is Item Versio, and for her it's pretty simple, because she is already basically wearing Stormtrooper armor. The first option would be to have like an unmasked version of her current appearance, where she just wouldn't have her helmet on. I think this would be really good because people running by quickly won't realize it's Iden right away, and they definitely wouldn't recognize her without seeing the black helmet, so at first glance they might not realize it's her, but by the time they realize it is, they're probably going to be dead. So that's definitely option number one for Iden. Another appearance we saw for Aiden was when she was in the white Stormtrooper armor, so that could definitely be another look for her. And this one would be unmasked as well, otherwise it would be too confusing when on the side of the Empire. If you're playing as the Rebels and you see a white Stormtrooper coming at you and you're shooting her and shooting her and she's not dying, that's obviously going to be Aiden, so 
I just think she needs to have no mask there so it doesn't get confusing. As long as Aiden is considered a dark side hero, even though she wasn't there for too long, I don't think we're going to get the rebel pilot outfit for her anytime soon, although that would be pretty cool as well. If they did do this, I don't know if they'd have to sort of make her a light side character for that skin or if they could just do it on the dark side and not really care about it, but I don't know what they would do with that. I think it would be a really cool skin to have in game. They just need to find a way to make it work. Moving on to Phasma and there really is no appearance at all for her other than her chrominium armor that's made from Palpatine's old Naboo yacht. Yes, that's where it's made from and yes, it's awesome. But as far as other appearances for her, there were two that I could think of. The first one is really obvious and it's battle damaged Phasma where her helmet is half smashed open. And basically this was seen in the last Jedi deleted scene after Finn rocks her in the face with whatever whatever that cool weapon is that the executioner troopers use and her helmet is broken open on one side. So this could definitely be one look for her. The second option for Phasma is something a little bit different, something a lot of Star Wars movie fans don't really know about and that's her appearance from the novel. In the Phasma novel, we are told about Phasma's early life before joining the First Order and how she helped escort General Hux, no, not Armitage who we saw in the sequel trilogy, but his father Brendel to safety. Phasma grew up on a very barren planet so her warrior outfit and mask were made to suit the environment. I would love to see them come up with some kind of concept for Phasma's outfit when she was still living on her home planet. Even though it is a little bit different, it is still canon though due to being in the novel. Next up, Emperor Palpatine, the Senate, Palpa memes, whatever you want to call him, Papa Palps, he is next on the list. And although most people don't seem to think he has many appearances, he actually has quite a few, but I'm just going to run through a couple for this video so it doesn't go on for too long. First off is the main one and it is Red Robe Palpatine with his hood up. This absolutely looks sick. I would definitely be running this skin on the game if they added it. It's so much better than the black robe look in my opinion. So that's option number one. Option number two is what I like to call Good Guy Sheev and Good Guy Sheev would just be his regular appearance how we see him on Naboo as Senator Palpatine and this look can even be very similar to his appearance at the end of Star Wars Rebels where he's trying to convince Ezra to go into the portal. So those are two quick skins that I thought of off the top of my head. You could also do the red robe Palpatine without the hood on or without the excess robe that you see him have on. So those are a couple of different options that we have there. Up next on the list of skins for villains is everyone's favorite whiny boy meme generating character Kylo Ren. Now here's another one where the funny options for skins are just endless and the first ones that come to mind are the biggest meme of the internet Ben Swallow and the funniest undercover boss you'll ever meet Matt the radar technician. Now I've seen some really creative stuff with these two appearances as far as custom Ben Swallow pop vinyls and even mods for Battlefront 2 where Matt the radar technician appearance was actually a thing. So if the mods can do it then surely the devs can do it as well and wouldn't it be hilarious. So give a thumbs up for Matt the radar technician and Ben Swallow. But getting serious for a minute, we already have Kylo Ren with and without his mask as playable skins in the game. The first and easiest skin I think they could do for Kylo is his final battle appearance from The Last Jedi, where he's facing off against Luke. No mask, no cape, just his awesome black robes and his lightsaber. I'm sure a lot of you agree with me that sometimes the cape blocks off most of your character's appearance in game, and you don't get to see all the little cool details of their outfit. So an option to remove that cape would definitely be a great thing. The last appearance I can think of at this point for Kylo Ren is young Ben Solo, more specifically when he is still being trained by Luke at his new Jedi temple. If you think about the scene in The Last Jedi where Luke thinks about killing Ben, he has a blue lightsaber and sort of a lighter colored top as well. If this were a skin for Kylo Ren, it would be really cool to see the blue lightsaber on the dark side and mix up the colors for them as all of them have red lightsabers at the moment. We know Kylo was already moving towards the dark side during that scene and Luke could sense it as well so that's definitely a viable option for this idea. And now we have our final villain and it is Boba Fett. Now Fett is another one of those characters who seems to look the same every time he's on screen but there are a few other appearances we have seen him in over the years and before you say give us a Jango Fett skin for Boba, no we aren't going to do that because I don't believe in reskinning current heroes with other heroes. It just doesn't make sense. He's that character and that's the way he should stay, no matter how similar they look. 
However, if you are a big Django Fett fan, then I am going to suggest a holiday special Boba Fett skin, which has more of a blue and yellow plating rather than the green one we are so used to seeing. I'll have a picture up on screen for those of you that don't know what it looks like so you can get a rough idea. It looks a little bit more like Django Fett than Boba Fett's regular armor does, but you know, it's still not the same thing. For those of you on top of that who haven't seen the holiday special, you aren't really missing much, but you might have also seen this skin as a pop vinyl figure, as what Funko called the droids appearance for Boba. The other skin that would be perfect for him and really would be amazing is his prototype suit. Most of us should know this one as it is an all white suit for Boba, all white everything, dressed to the nines in his best outfit. But no, seriously, the skin would be sick. I would have this on almost every time I use Boba Fett, aside from using the holiday special one occasionally and you could get some really crazy cinematic shots of him wearing this I can just picture it now I think that would be the most likely skin they would do for Boba Fett as well so let's hope they bring that out at some point in the future because it really would be cool to see an all-white Boba flying around on the map so guys thank you for making it to the end of this very long list now it is all up to you Comment down below on this video if there are any dark side skins you would like to add that I may have missed in Battlefront 2 and drop a like if you enjoyed this video and want to see me do a light side skin idea video in the future. If you are new around here, absolutely feel free to subscribe as I post roughly five times a week with new Battlefront 2 content or Star Wars movie or TV content. So if you like all of that stuff and everything Star Wars related, then consider subscribing and turning on notifications. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. I am the Twisted Jedi, and may the Force be with you, always.